Remember those old turrets from all the way at the bottom of the facility? Thank you. Those guys have no security systems installed. We might be able to produce friendly turrets. Oh, it's just out of reach. That's so rude. This is the worst thing this game has ever done to us. How could you give us a companion cube just out of reach? Ugh. Oh. Hello everyone, my name is ACF. Welcome back to Portal Stories Mel. We're over here in the overgrown section of Aperture Labs. Aegis is after us, and uh, I guess we'll go down and see what Virgil has in store for us as we try to escape. Happy Wednesday, by the way. I suppose it's only gonna be Wednesday one day out of seven on the recorded VOD, but- Biological scanners, recalibrating sensors. Well, it seems that we won't be able to stay in the plant field test chambers much longer. It seems to be able to adapt to our actions quite well. We need to come up with a plan to take him on, head on. But leave that to me. You can continue solving these tests. Can you just not make me do all these tests? Can you just open a back door hallway or something? That would be great. Okay, this reverses the beam to a pull. I have a feeling... Oh, it's not quite big enough. I have a feeling we need it to be a push. How are we gonna get over there? What does this do? This drops a cube over there. So we can get there with a, oh, not quite though. Interesting. Maybe if we drop it again, it'll bounce off over into the beam, you think? Or is there something stopping it from doing that? Oh, I see. We need to go... Oh, where there's a... Where there's a thing. That's what we need to do. But... That's not gonna do the thing, right? Because that's gonna bring it all the way over there. And that's... Oh, but maybe if we push it now, it'll... Maybe if we switch it right here. Heh. <laughs> What's up, Leviathan? Welcome in. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. No, wait a minute. Wait just a minute. Oh, okay. We can just fire orange somewhere else. Now we have this cube. Now we can pull ourselves over that way, which I think we should do. I don't see a downside to this. But ASDF, there's nothing to stand on over there. We'll just go all the way through the po portal. It's fine. How you doing, Leviathan? Oh, there was a thing that it landed on. Okay, so I think we just need the cube with us. Let's go all the way over here. We can always jump down. Let's make sure there's no portal surfaces in here that we can see. No, there's a field. Okay, so how do we get the cube over with us? We need to get it into the beam, which will turn it into a push beam, and then we need to push it to there. But how do we get it over there? Well, rather, how do we get it up that high? Once it's a push, we can go over that way through the beam and come out here. So then how do we get the cube in the right spot? We need to re-summon the cube or we need to push it off into the goo. So let's put it there and then we'll push it into the goo. It'll respawn over here and then we can go collect it. I'm hoping it respawns on its own. It does. Okay. That's a neat mechanic that once you've pushed it. Okay. So then we just need to do that. Then we go over here. Adriana, welcome in. Happy Wednesday. Look at this, guys. I'm solving a puzzle on the first try. We're only like four minutes in and I've already got a puzzle solved. Who even am I? It's like, it's like I grew an extra brain cell over the, I guess it's not the weekend. Over Tuesday. Hey, Mel. You have no idea how hard it is to move around here. Anyway, remember those old turrets from all the way at the bottom of the facility? Thank you. Those guys have no security systems installed. It should be really easy to reprogram them to destroy Aegis instead of humans. If we go down to a turret production line, we might be able to produce friendly turrets. Oh, it's just out of reach. That's so rude. This is the worst thing this game has ever done to us. How could you give us a companion cube just out of reach? Ugh. The worst, Virgil. Okay, we've got a camera that's deactivated. We have got this, which turns off 
this one and does something over there. But we need to get through here anyways. So let's go through. Uh, what does this button do? Oh, this puts that up and it allows us to laser somewhere. We've also got a cube that falls out of there, which means we're going to need like a tractor beam or a light bridge to get up that way. And, oh, it's just going to keep spawning now. I, I do like that mechanic. Okay, so we have to go in here. That Those look angled on purpose. Okay, so here's our light bridge. This turns to a push off a pole. We need to do this and we need to get one over there. What about this? What if we do this? It sets the cube on fire on the way down or, you know, potentially. Oh, we can portal through this now. So we can portal there from here. Oh, okay. Accidentally solved it. That is wonderful. We need to change this to a propulsion so that we can push ourselves up to the top. Here we go. I was like, there has to be something somewhere. We'll put it right on the edge here so we can jump off. Now we're getting somewhere. Now, why can we walk all the way over here? Why is that a thing? Can we just exit? Nope, we can't. There's no way we could possibly fit through that gap that we could totally fit through. Okay, let's enter here because we could put these portals back anytime. Here's the laser receptor. And that gives us a laser cube that we can apparently only have from in here. This deactivates the light bridge. You know what? I have a feeling this... Does it permanently deactivate it? I have a feeling we just need this to hold down the button. I don't think we actually need to use it as a laser thing, which is probably like the gotcha of the puzzle. People keep trying to use it as a laser thing and it's just not, that's not it. So there's half of the door. Now, where does this one go or come from? Is it the button in the first room? How do we get ourselves over there without dying? We can maybe go like, like that. I don't like that though. Maybe, maybe there instead. That's better. Then we need to, we need to go over and then we need a cube with us. But we can't do that cube. Oh, we need to go over there, replace this portal and that one, which we can probably see from on that button. Then we need to get it to pull. This is really confusing. Okay, let's do that. Now we can get over. And now I think what we can do is win, right? We can win. All we need to do is go back up there. Let's think about it from over here. Oh, we can just portal up there now because it's open. I was like, there's got to be a way to do the thing. Okay, then we set this up. Well done. Hey, hey that. we're getting there. The hardest tests in this track. I, heard I that don't it was made think by so. Two particularly cruel scientists. I don't think that was the hardest test in the track. We've had some pretty hard ones. Hey, the screens are working again. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, though. Because if the screens are working, doesn't that mean Aegis has more control? I keep hearing egg. Whenever I say Aegis, I'm like, ah, oh, there's a giant egg AI chasing us down. It's like Grian and his chickens. I'm still Aegis. sorting through all those files. There's terabytes of emails. I'm trying to find something that can help us. Huh. Did terabytes you know you can increase emails? the size of your core in just two easy steps? Ha. Huh. Okay, that sets up a light bridge, or a, a tractor beam. Let's get a cube first. Not a bad idea to have a cube with us. What else do we have then? Because we can't get this through there yet. We will in a minute. Once we get up to there, we can. We have this area. Let's see what this button does. The green laser's back. Oh, it deactivates that. 
I think I just needed one there, right? Hang on, I need to get back over here first. So I need to bop, bop, bop. Okay, let's try that again. We just need to put one there. Yeah, that's fine. And then here, then, oh, we need to be on the inside though. Okay, blue, orange, got it. Now, if we push this button, that cube will go up and we'll have it here. And then I'll just unpush the button and it'll drop right into our hands. It's a thing of beauty. Now that's going forever. So now we can use it to get up here. And now we actually have the freedom to portal in here if we need to. Uh, which we probably will later. So it's a good thing to know. Excuse me. I'll take another cube. Thank you. Now, this could be, and this would be unfortunate, but it could be one of those scenarios where we need both cubes, so we need to disintegrate one to remake it somehow and do a thing like that. For now, let's just assume that that one can stay and this one can go. We need to go up here so that we can put orange through this beam. Then we just need to go... Uh, we need to drop this cube in there. And then jump in ourselves. That was just the right height, right? That gets us over this barrier. Now, are there any portalable surfaces over here? Wow, I love being able to see into the back rooms. Like, they made a lot of effort to do that. Uh, what does this mean? Don't know exactly what that means. But there's another bridge over here that's a pole. Okay, so we can put this on here, and then we can go get the other cube with a pole now. Although there's no way to pull to this side. So what do we do about that? What if we just go back to the middle for a second? We'll keep orange here. We can turn this off, go through there, and portal to there. That'll allow us to go back to the other side with the portal in the right spot. So we go like this, go through, then put a portal there. Is that in the right spot? I think so. So now we can go back over and keep our orange portal there, which is what we need to do. We need to jump off and then we can respawn that cube. And then we can switch this location to somewhere that just pulls us straight through which will be on the ceiling right here after the blue one is shut off. It did have to do with despawning the cube. Oh, I mean, we could just put it here. What portal is there? This one's blue, so we need to move blue. Wow. My brain could not figure that out. I think it was the timing problem of where to stand when you fire the portal at that wall in the very back, but that was tricky. So, apparently, the records on these computers are kind of severely out of date. I think I can recompile a new version of this testing crack sequence. Okay. Okay, so there's a light bridge. This turns off the field. Oh, but it's a button. This gets us a cube. We'll always take a cube. I guess we can put this here. Then we can, let's just put, excuse me. Let's just do something like this for now. That gets us through here with the cube. Okay, we need to get, what does this button do? This one turns off this light field. Are you kidding me? It's fine. We have orange over there, so we need to put blue here. And we need to do this. Uh, that'll keep dropping now.
Oh, we did this too early. Okay, let's get this cube back. We'll leave it there for now. It doesn't need to be on the other side yet, so we'll do that, we'll do that. We'll do a little bit of that. We'll jump through blue here. Hey, it stayed on the platform this time. That's nice. Okay, now we have this second cube. How clever do we have to be with getting the cubes through this stuff? I don't know. But let's put this one over here, and then we'll go collect our first cube. Because we can get that one with these light bridge placements. Actually, this button deactivates this field. Do we need a vertical light bridge yet? We don't need it yet. We probably will, though. Okay, now we can grab this one. We'll put orange up there. Because the third light field is off. Almost went the wrong direction. That would have been my bad. Okay, we're able to get a cube up here for the exit door. I have a feeling, though... Well, is this it? Do we just... Um, we need the second cube. We did put them in the wrong order. We had to switch them. I thought it might be something like that. It's fine. We can just switch them from here, I think. Yeah. We need to do this. Because we need to reset a cube from the start. Okay, so we have this cube here. Then we bring this cube with us. All the way to the exit. We'll just chuck it in there. Move that first portal and then take that other cube with us. By doing this. Yep, it's that one now because I switched them. We're so smart. We didn't even do anything with that vertical portal. I don't know what we would have done with the vertical right. portal. A quick update. Compiling maps, apparently, it takes quite some time. At least the turrets from old Apture are still coming up. Just a pity the toxic goo is coming up, too. Okay. That wasn't too bad. I feel like there was a more complex solution to that. And I found a simpler way. I don't know how much the despawning of cubes like I'm doing is a part of the intended solution, but it is an interesting mechanic that we figured out. Okay, no introduction for this room. All the dangers are here though, that's wonderful. We can get up here, we can... There's a button for a cube, let's do that first. Probably need that there, and there, or something. But we can see that from up there, so... Let's do this. Okay, that allows us to go through. So if we do this and... This. Let's put it high. I don't know why we would need this up this high, but let's do this for a second. Now... This deactivates both of these fields, and we need one cube up there for the exit. So we need to pull that cube with us to the exit. We can't do that yet, though. Also, is this the second cube? Don't we just need to exit with this now? Hang on. Let's do this not over that giant pit. Let's, let's see what's over here. Is this just a... Uh... Oh, I see what we need to do. Okay, so let's do this. But we can't see that from here, right? Yeah. Let's put this cube back on this button. That way we have full access to everything. We only need one cube over here, so I have a feeling we need the, the blue propulsion beam to be up this way. We can go through it. That gets us to the end. And then we need to pick up 
the cube from the starting room to get onto that button. Which we can easily do. We just need to go push starting room cube button again. These puzzles are getting easier, right? It's not just me. I, I mean, maybe my brain just wasn't working properly on the first set and these ones are the same difficulty. But I feel like these are a lot easier than those ones were. Okay, there's a turret, which we can go... We can burn the turret. Sorry, turret. It's going right through its feet! Man, it's hard to hit. Really hard to hit. There we go. Okay, let's put it in there now. What does that do for us? That opens the door. But we can't go through. So let's get a cube. Does it just come out of the wall? Hi there. Okay, so we need to put this like this. And then we can hit it from the other side. Oh. We need to hit it from this side though. If we do it like that. It goes out that way, so maybe like there? This... This is so janky. I kind of hope this isn't the solution, but like... Oh, we almost had it. This is not the way to solve this puzzle. This can't be the way to solve this. So how do we get the laser to shine from there? Or rather, maybe what we need to do is put blue there, orange here to go straight in. Then we do this, so it deactivates the field, and then we go respawn the cube. I, cube respawning has to be part of the intended solution. Because we've done it way too many one. times now. From there on, you'll have to move fast because that's the last chamber with plants in it. Great. The last chamber with plants. Enjoy nature for now, everybody. The next chamber is the last one with nature. It blows my mind that this is all kind of pre GLaDOS. Hey, we're finally at the production facility. I've been able to find a rail a bit further on. I'll meet you up ahead. Can you just... Good. End you should find a way out of this test chamber before your portal gun's black hole violently implodes. Uh, I, I mean, uh, uh, anyway, beyond one of these me? walls are catwalks leading to the end of a manufacturing line. Okay. We'll be going through the way to storage cube manufacturing. It's oh. now or never. We've got oh. to make our move on Aegis. Organic threat presence shown on scanners. Reacquiring targets. No, you don't have to do that, Aegis. It's fine. Can we portal through? That was here? quick. Better keep moving. Okay. Oh, I, I thought we were going to have to solve that puzzle. Now, this is a room where they test if cubes are actually able to press buttons. It's uh, some vital testing. What do you mean, actually? Cube that able can't to. press buttons? <laughs> Uh, it's a total waste. Hey, are there cubes that can't press buttons? Oh, he was here with us. Okay, I guess we just go now. It's kind of an interesting... Oh, you know what? Just in case. Yeah, I, I felt like it was something like that. Okay. You should be able to slip through the door if it opens. Uh, don't stay too long though. Those doors will close. I almost ran straight off the pressure. edge. I almost fell for it. Take that game. This is the last time you make me fall off an edge. I'm not falling for it this time. No sir. All right, what do we got? There's nothing down here. What's the point of this long walkway? Come on, open up. Open up. Let me in. Did you know that Aperture Science weighted storage cubes have to be bulletproof? Have to be, huh? 
This is pretty cool. I like this. Oh, that was a failed cube. This is a lot of fun. Seeing, like, behind the scenes here. Okay. Just had to make sure the door wouldn't open. Now, our portals are still stairs. active. There are no cameras in this part of the facility, so Aegis won't be able to trap us. <laughs> still, we've got to take him out if you want to leave this place. Anyways, if take him out to a nice I'll restaurant. The surface areas. Sure are a lot of portal stuff here. Uh, portal fields. Fizzle fields? Oh, what happened there? Moon rocks are the future. So if you didn't know before, now you know. It's all moon rocks. I frequently don't know where to go in these abandoned offices. Guess I'll just head towards the fizzle field. Oh, there you are. I thought maybe somehow you managed to get lost. Anyway, I did. We're almost at Aegis's part of the facility. Now Real good at getting here. lost. Uh, those metal plates will hurt if they hit you. Yep. Can you believe it takes six of those plates to make one cube? Ridiculous. Really? Wow. That's pretty cool. Can I open this? Nope. I cannot. What's the point of coming down here then? There's no point. If I have to do some sort of platforming challenge to avoid these things, not going to be super thrilled about that. I definitely do. Oh, I can have all the cubes. Can I take so many cubes with me? There's going to be a fizzle field, but it would be fun to see what kind of trouble you can get into in this room by like stacking cubes up on top of each other to get over the gates and stuff. Like, cause we could easily get over that gate and then not come back unless there's an invisible boundary there. Now there was a door, right? There was a door that we could push open on the other side of this or something. It's over there. So I think if we do this, oh, I, I think it won't let us, right? Uh, it has to let us jump up. No, there's an invisible wall. So that door is a push door, but we can't get to it. We'll move on. It is clearly not the way the game wants us to go. Aegis's lair. What an, an impressive, impressive sight. Aegis core access. Okay. This is ominous. The power's been cut off here, but I think I can help. Just give me a moment. I'm gonna just stand by this door. Yes, that works. Let's get going. This reminds me of the day I ended up falling down into those junkyard offices. Dark room, no lights, hit the end of a management rail and down I went. Luckily I- Careful, careful. There's a hole in the floor. Thanks. That- Okay. It- That was a the death power's hole. power's been cut off here. Watch out careful, for the hole. Careful, careful. Yeah, yeah. There's a hole in the floor ahead. Yeah, I can tell. Uh, are you gonna do something for me here? Just oh. a bit further and we can get to the mainframe rooms. There's another hole in the floor. I'm there should be, be a happy. lever near that door to open it up. I... You ready, Mel? Pushed something. Right, what are we ready for? Oh, I guess... Some of these walls you can and some of them you can't put portals on, so... I always assume if there's blue paint, you can't put portals on it, but... Ah, down we go. Into the belly of the beast. Uh, look, Mel, uh, I just wanted to say something. I, I couldn't have done any of this without your help. If it wasn't for you, I'd still be stuck down there in the junkyard offices. Probably my battery backup would have run out in a few days, so thanks. You're not powered by like a black so, uh, hole or something? Let's get this done. Whatever happens, I believe in you. Really. Organic threat and mechanical threat number one detected in central hub. Countermeasures activating. Oh, All right. Good. So, in order to get to the Aegis core, we need to turn on the power, unlock the doors, and replace the turrets. Once that's done, we should have a clear shot at Aegis. Let's get going. Okay. Well, I think this is a good place to leave it. So thank you guys for coming on by. Please remember to like and subscribe if you want to keep up to date with all the content that we're doing over here on the ASDF Gaming channel. And as always, I hope you have a great rest of your day and I'll see you guys in the next one.